it seems there's just not enough time in the day or the week or anything at the minute for me. Uh, yeah, just uh, on the 24 hour transition between day and night shift. So just going to get some training in because I haven't trained for a week. All I'm doing is getting one session a week at the minute because it's, uh, well, because I don't have the time. I'm doing sort of 12 hour shifts with travel time on top. You know, it doesn't leave much time to do anything else. Um, but, you know, at least once a week, I'm still walking 10 miles a day on average. So really good list cardio. Uh, yeah, really good list cardio. Low intensity, steady state cardio. Uh, and again, it really is. It's slowly pulling the fat off, that's for sure. Um, so today we're just going to uh, do 25 minutes on the bike. All upper body, you've seen it before. Skip this part of the video if you want. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, that's it. So yeah, just not much, not much uh, time to do anything at the minute. Um, next week i'm going to be doing a little sort of overnighter in the van and uh i'm going to make that video a bit sort of well there's going to be some cooking involved a little bit of uh yeah just a nice sort of camping video probably less chat more camping don't know let's see how that goes but yeah certainly uh next week going off to uh a more forestry forestry uh foresty um scenario where we're going to be out in the forest i'm just gonna sort of get there during the day get some nice drone footage do a nice sort of cook cook up uh and then stay overnight and then uh, make a nice breakfast in the morning so that's going to be uh a nice sort of try and make that a bit more arty like i said a little bit more uh yeah, a little bit more adventurous and a little bit more arty rather than uh, the last video where I was doing an urban stealth camp and I couldn't do much, you know, just quite literally park up, sleep and leave. <laughs> this video is going to be a bit more interesting, but uh, like I say, today we just got to train. So just documenting some training. Like I say, it's going to be all upper body, um, pretty much the same, same workout as before. Because um, I'm not really doing much else other than walking everywhere. So still getting the cardio in, that's a good thing. Um, but yeah, once a week. That's all we're doing at the minute. Mm. Yeah, so we got the uh, camping video next week. And then uh, at the end of the month, I've taken some time off, some holiday. So we are going to go away and do something uh, fun. So uh, that'll be at the end of the month. So check that out as we start to come into uh, an easing of lockdown and all the nonsense, you know, with the older... Uh, Call it what you will, you know, the woo flu, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Scamdemic, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I'm not, I'm not convinced, put it that way. But uh, I haven't been. I've had the busiest year last year than I've ever had. So uh, I think uh, it's a bit like Santa Claus and the Tooth Fairy and the Devil. It's real if you want to believe it's real. Yeah. So that's up to you. That's your prerogative. Personally, I don't believe it can do much to me. So that's why I've had the busiest year ever. And um, yeah, made, you know, I haven't stopped working. Anyway, back to more pressing matters. Let's uh, let's get training, shall right, we? 25 minutes in and uh, yeah, the cardio is done. Just, uh, yeah, just a nice session. Let's uh, see what we've done. So 27 minutes. Uh, 20 kilometers per hour is the current speed as we cool down 9.2 kilometers covered calories burn 140 just come out to 140 here it is and odometer on the bike now is 974.9 so you can see there's no lies here there's no deception you know there's no faking there's uh, some YouTube salaries do. You know, they like to fake everything, don't they? Use fake weights. Pretend they're taller than they are. Pretend they're lighter than they are. What's the point, really? What's the point? I mean, it's fine. You can continue that deception if you never leave your house. But for normal people who do have a life, you know, you might bump into someone. <laughs> you told him you're six foot 
and uh, you know ripped and you know bigger than Ryback then uh, they meet you and you're four foot five and round <laughs> plump like a Christmas pudding uh, yeah probably they're gonna be going hmm I think this guy's a pathological liar anyway so no lies here there's no point my mother taught me that if you're gonna lie you need a good memory and I just I just can't be asked remembering the lies so I gave up lying years ago yeah silliness anyway let's crack on chest Chest, shoulders, arms, abs. Here, but you'll never see on a Mr. Blah Blah's channel is this real weights, and I don't need to bump up numbers and fake lifts. You know what I mean? There's a hundred over a hundred pounds there. I'm happy pinching a hundred pounds. This is just for me, it's just for me to stay fit and strong and healthy and functional. I'm not out to do uh, one rep maxes. Yeah, no one rep maxes. I'm not out to get injured at fucking 49 years old. I'm not out to blow my shoulders or anything like that. Just want to train, stay strong, stay functional, stay healthy. That, that is what it's all about. You know, bit of cardio, keep the old CV system working. When I finally get on the, the judo mat in a couple of months, please. <laughs> Uh, that's when things start getting interesting, especially on the channel as far as training. All you're seeing at the moment is just maintenance, just maintenance, keeping a, a certain level of fitness, um, just slowly stripping away the fat and uh, just staying functional and uh, uninjured. You know, why would anyone want to blow their shoulders out or tear their lat or or tweak their erector? <laughs> <laughs> I think he tweaked his erector watching a Chuck, Chuck Basher video. That's him always tweaking his erector when he's watching, uh, you know, researching those certain videos, looking for G for peers. Anyway, let's get to some real training. Forget the nonsense. Workout done. 
don't know what the time is. It's, oh, it's only half twelve, half twelve in the uh, in the afternoon. So I've got a few things to do. Looks like it's just started raining. Wonderful. Uh, so yeah, I've got a few things to do. Got to stop the van up because I always keep the van semi-prepped. Always keep the van semi-prepped, you know. So uh, I've got a, a base amount of uh, food and cloves in there, water, fresh water on board and all that stuff. So at any time I could just take off in the van, you know, and uh, and uh, be sufficient, you know, until I restocked elsewhere. But um, it is semi-stocked at all times, you know, with, like I say, a base amount of food and water, uh, protein bars and just, uh, you know, all sorts of little things to be able to get you through, say, two days. Um, and then you'd have to forage for food <laughs> yeah. or just go to the local store. Um, but yeah, so I've got to restock the van up and then start my night shift. So it's going to be a long day. I've been awake since 7 a.m. I'm going to be awake until 7 a.m. So 24 hour day for me today. Uh, first one back. First night shift's always a bit shitty. Uh, it always wrecks everyone. Um, but yeah, it'll soon get better. Right, so you guys have a good day. Look out for my new video in a week uh, where I'm going to be going off doing a proper woodland camp. Yeah, so a proper woodland camp. Uh, do keep an eye out for that. And I have got a few extra bits. You may have uh, may have seen them on, uh, sorry, may have seen them on my Instagram account. I bought myself a, a little uh, toasty maker. That's a, that's a Ridge Monkey, yeah. So yeah, good for making sandwiches and it actually comes apart. Where are you? Yeah, it comes apart. So actually, whoop, actually gives you two little frying pans as well. So quite a useful, quite a useful tool. Yeah, you know, so you can make toast with it as well. You know, do your crumpets and your muffins uh, for a nice breakfast. But yes, yeah, so a very useful tool because you tool because you've got two pans in one and toast maker, toasty maker. Uh, and an egg poacher again dual purpose so you got your poaching eggs there uh, and then you got a regular frying pan sitting underneath and on stick so you know it's all about squeezing as much versatility out of every item that you are carrying in a van because of the limited space so just things to be aware of when you're uh, doing that van life thing all right anyway so please like subscribe share tell a friend tell a family and uh, I'll speak to you guys next time. Have a good day.